Hello, how is everyone doing today? Um, I was really creeped out for a second because I just realized I put that book there and I was like, who is behind me? <laughs> just random person. Um, anyway, it, it just freaked me out because I was like, I don't remember putting that there. But um, how's everyone doing today? And if you're coming over from Donna's stream, welcome. Um, I want to know what is everybody reading today or what are you doing? I am over here roasting my ass off because it's because it is so freaking hot. I was just telling Donna it's like 80 degrees here Fahrenheit and my partner refuses to turn on the um, air conditioning. Um, I also wanted to update you guys on this story of the woman who I think I mentioned in Donna's chat. Yeah, it was Donna's chat that my best friend was like getting her taxes done <laughs> and she goes this lady's doing my taxes and she sent me i don't want to show the lady on on the internet because that would be rude but she sends me this video of her and she's literally like typing at the computer and all of a sudden she's just like <laughs> you just see her go down um and she was like that for a while and i was like so did you wake her up like I, I need to know like what happened and she goes she did it like five times in a row and then I asked her if she was okay she said yeah she was just cold after the most recent episode I got the manager and expressed my concern that the lady may have narcolepsy which is like when you fall asleep in the middle of the day randomly and the man was, manager was like yeah we aren't sure what's wrong maybe it's her meds I was thinking WTF why are you letting her work and file people's taxes uh, so the manager ended up transferring her to another person, and she was great, but the narcolepsy person kept seeing clients, which didn't seem right. And then she also said, I hope the lady didn't drive herself because it's not safe for her to do so. She's falling asleep at work. But that's the little update because I was just like, I need to know what happened. Um, anyways, bookish-related stuff. I am reading uh, – I'm going to be starting Wild Love, and I am vlogging first – so I talked about how I'm going to tab or annotate. Ooh. So I picked these ones. And I was like, oh, these work out really nicely. Um, yeah. What are you doing, Donna? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my kids and husband just got home from the grocery store. So like, I the, they're like, we're home. And I'm like, shh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I end up getting some Ooh. nasty and chocolate because I've been dying for chocolate and I sent my kid over and he couldn't find them last week. <laughs> so uh -huh. I will be reading Flawless. Very excited um, for you. I'm also annotating it. So these are my colors. Ooh, stuff. nice. What are you um what are your tabs like? What do you have them listed as if you can share that? I have Rhett Summer, cute shit, spicy shit, funny shit, and quote quote. I like that. <laughs> I think I just did Rhett, Summer, and then like them shit, like to get like, a couple. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I just picked three <laughs> colors. Yeah. So I'll probably do the same for this where I think what I had done was like the lightest one was the girl, the middle one was the guy, and then the dark one was like spicy shit. <laughs> okay. Usually that that was interesting or when i say spicy i'm not underlining or highlighting every time they have sex it's more like cheeky things that they say like um i can't even think of the thing i watched yesterday but it was like some girl was reading a uh, narrating a book and it was something about like all these sexual innuendos which i really like in books Mm -hmm. So I think they're hilarious and I'll go around the house and say them to my partner. And he's just like, you just stop. <laughs> That's what I do. I also do like underlining. So it's like what makes me smile or important mm -hmm. uh, to remember. Cause I forget a lot. And I also have highlights, which make me like giggle. Uh, and I do have a few different colors for each character. Ooh, okay. So being very, I need to do that too. Yeah. I'm just basic. <laughs> I mean, I have a whole like thing down here of like all my my uh annotating stuff. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of like 
diving deep into it. So some annotating stuff is like hit or miss. Like I'll give you an example. I bought these um, highlighter strips at first, and they suck. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know why I just keep that. Like they just literally don't stick to the page. Awesome. They look nice in theory, but they suck. It sounds like it. Like I've seen them before and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I'm like, but yeah, whatever brand this is, it doesn't even have a brand. Don't, don't get these ones. They suck. I don't know if y'all have better ones, but these ones just did not. I've seen do another, for me. I don't know what brand I've seen. I think it was on Instagram. I've seen like a video of somebody actually like putting them down. I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And then I just had to like cut them to the length of the book or whatever. But yeah, I'm try I I feel like there's certain books that I've been annotating. Um, like I would never annotate one of my fairy loop books because they already come sprayed on the sides. So I'm yeah. like, Ugh. No. I don't annotate the sprayed edges ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then I think it's usually the, the cutesy books that I'm like, yeah, I could see myself rereading this. So, or, or like the, the Elsie Silver books in particular are getting, yeah. all of them are getting um, annotated. I just finished this one and like, that's all my. Wow. <laughs> um, I would like for mine to look like that one day, but I feel like mine don't ever look like that. Oh, I did annotate hunting and haunt haunting and hunting Adeline. I plan to annotate those. <laughs> um, we'll see how those turn out. <laughs> mine ended up being more so. I think the darkest color for me was like if anybody died or got murdered, and then the color that was less dark, like going up in gradient here, yeah, was like sexy things they did that were a little like not vanilla <laughs> yeah it was like not vanilla and then the the color above that was like vanilla sex stuff and then i think i had just like cutesy quotes between or not cute cheeky quotes or whatever i could see myself having something as like underlining the sexy scenes that i've never done and maybe want to try one day <laughs> you gotta put them in like um like a like piece of paper and then put them in a jar or something be like hubby let's do this one today okay your turn <laughs> <sighs> but let's see who is here and what um what are you guys up to so shauna's here hey popping in now as i won't be home when you start but i will be in the chat once i get home okay so this was like an hour ago so maybe yeah. she's back by now um, hello, Beatrice. I'm very excited. I'm going to be reading Starling House, but I'm here for a fun time. Mm -hmm. I hope that you enjoy. And actually, you just reminded me, I started watching your video this morning. Your spinner wheel, uh, like spinner wheel chooses how much I read for. And then I got distracted. <laughs> so this then made. this is why I made booktube watch sprints because i was like i have so many of these where i start in like the first five minutes and like i'm totally interested in the video it's not that i was <laughs> bored it was just that i had like somebody asked me for something at work or i went to go do something for my dog or whatever it was a forgot, um, yes <laughs> and i forgot about what i was doing and by the time i was i sat back down i was like i got other shit to do so like my bad but yeah that's why i mean the booktube watch spreads because i was like yeah i know other people have this issue too where they yeah. have a huge watch leader list and so maybe if we just spend like 30 minutes at a time just watching videos and then hanging out to chat and just rinse and repeat maybe maybe we'll all get some stuff done you know i might actually take your idea for next month because uh there's a certain prompt for the readathon uh that i'm hosting Oh, okay. Do something like that. So I'm like, maybe, because I never even thought about doing that. Like, yeah, friends to watch the stuff that we're doing. <laughs> like, why not? Um, hey, Laura and Dee Dee, how are you? Here today, it's very windy, cold wind. I kind of want cold wind. I'm just like, it is too hot. Yesterday and today, I'm dying. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether to start Wild Love or my next book for Timmy's. 
So is Timmy's a um, time sensitive one? Like, do you have to have it done by a certain day? I think Brittany's doing like a Timmy's readathon. I think it's only like a week long. I would say like maybe do that one first. Um, Cause I don't, I also don't know if they're associated with sprints or just like part of a readathon where you just read at your own pace. Like Patreon. Yeah. Patreon ones. Mm. I'd say if you can fit wild love into Timmy's. <laughs> Yes. And if you can't, do the Timmy's one. Because if you, I think you just read Flawless recently. And if you liked that, you would probably like this book. It's uh, Best Friend. Hold on. What is it? Best Friend's Little Sister. So I don't know if that's a, a, a trope you like or don't like, but maybe that entices you. Um, regarding the tax lady, that is a bit dangerous with being uh, probably driving. <laughs> yes. It's funny and concerning in equal measure regarding the taxes person. Yes. Um, Steph, hi. Um, I have a couple options tonight. I'm reading the buddy repages of Harry Potter or Flawless by Elsie Silver. Silver, I say Flawless. We're just gonna get everybody to read it. Flawless. Between between this and between um Flawless, Flawless. <laughs> the Chestnut Springs read along that Brittany, Claire, and Beatrice are doing. Leandra. Leandra. Okay. I was yeah. like, who is do who's I always keep forgetting who the There's a lot of people <laughs> yeah. doing stuff. Uh yes, it's a good book. And then Heartless is even better, so I think you'll like Heartless better, Donna. I gotta, I gotta buy the next ones, and I, I paid for this one paperback, twenty five dollars. Where'd you get yeah. it? Indigo Chapters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. So I did look on. Uh, there's a place I go to, which is called Thrift Books, mm -hmm. and I can get the rest of the series for like $15 each. But then mm -hmm. I also have to like, like 20 something dollars in shipping. So it's like 80 something that I can get the rest of the books from. But it's better than I, paying 115 or more. <laughs> I got mine from France and I got the really cool copies. <laughs> and they were, I don't think shipping was that much. I mean, it's Canada. We we oh, suck yeah, at shipping. Yeah. <laughs> French Canada, French Canadian. What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll act like I'm Quebec in, in <laughs> Quebec, and I can get. I don't know where you got them though. So like, uh, it's French. So it it could be Paris one, know. or it could be like French Canadian. No, I got it from I think from France, like Paris. I can't, I can't even remember what the bookstore is called. I had a bookmark, but I just got rid of it. And see, this is the time you knew you'd probably need it. I can send you the link at some point, okay. but I'll find it for you. Yeah. Just remind me. Can you tell me in the private chat to remind you? Uh, also, hello, cool gamer. Uh, by the way, I said this in Donna's sprints, but the first print of Wild Love is almost a special edition. The spine design might change for the other prints. Did I get a first edition? Let's see. Oh, mine's signed. Is it? But not like real, like it's just. Oh, but it's still. Like, <laughs> like it's digitally signed, I think. Oh. Like, I don't think she signed, she came through and signed this. Okay, anyways. Um how do i see first edition i know it's usually on this one page it just says copyright 2024 do you know how to find the first edition isn't it just on this one page yeah um on the page at the bottom it'll have numbers uh mm -hmm. from like one to ten and whatever yeah. the first number is is your edition so mine is a three like mine's the third oh. edition. 
Like mine goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So yeah, your one, your is first edition. What? You sure? I believe that's how it goes. Look. Yeah, okay. Give me a minute because I, I did this with my my fourth point edition to see if my copy was like the same as other people's or something like that. Um yeah, so like this one states that it's wait, oh my god. Like sometimes my, I know they literally say first edition. So here it states I'm third edition because it starts off with three. Oh. That's what I was told. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> now I'm looking at like an, another book I have. Well, this is a very late one. I don't know if this one counts. I'm like now checking. <laughs> I'm yeah, just like, like interested. Like I'm this one? The, uh -huh. the holiday one, it has the one through ten. Which uh -huh. states it's the first edition. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, this one's this other book I'm looking at. It's a library book. It just says first printing. So I'm assuming it says means first edition. Interesting. Okay. So my spine looks like this, basically. And it's bloom. The other um Elsie Silver books I have are Piatkiss. I don't know how to say it. Piatkiss, something like that. Um, anyways, <laughs> started Wildlife 2, so we'll be reading with you guys. What is Wildlife? I don't know if I've, did you mean Wildfire? Or is this Wildlife? Or is it Wild Love? <laughs> that might make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paco. Hello. Um, my butt ended up in the hospital. Thankful to have you guys no. as distractions. I hope everyone enjoys their re I hope everything's okay, Quinn, and that you get out soon. Hopefully Just everything's good. Break out. <laughs> <laughs> Was I appointed Le Wrench? Yes, you were. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put the basement uh, daddy into a wrench. Power <laughs> you can do it from your YouTube um settings and stuff yeah it was just easier because i i did tell him i was like oh just right in there i'll put you i'll get i'll wrench you is what i said and he's like mm, you'll wrench me and i was like god not like that and then i never he even did he didn't come back at you with a different tool like i'll drill <laughs> you or something no come on <laughs> come on basement daddy or basement I mean, whatever you are dweller daddy <laughs> daddy dweller <laughs> One of those ones. <laughs> One of those. Um, hello, Alicia. I am currently reading Wild Love at 53%. Ford is really trying to remove Theo from top Elsie book boyfriend title. Ooh, I haven't read Theo's book yet, but I want to know all about this Ford Grant guy. <laughs> um, hello to Katie. Katie's not here yet. Uh, Donna's here. <laughs> Uh, don't worry. I understand. I always get distracted by videos. I will be there. <laughs> it is also getting late here, so I don't know how long I will last tonight. All good. I'm glad you're here, though, for a little bit. Watch later. Sprints are genius. I'm just sitting here like, I have a problem. <laughs> I'm, I, it's every day. It's like I my watch one or two and then five more get added. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this we need to work on this. I have like a playlist. For, well, my watch later is mainly the TBRs that come out every month. Mm -hmm. And I try to finish those in one month, which cut it cuts close. Okay. By the time I finished March's, I was already adding April's. <laughs> and then yeah. I had to make I have a some new January's. <laughs> so I'm like, is it <laughs> worth watching them? But like, I'm like, yeah, because they're my friends and I want to support them. Yeah. I'm like, I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> I, I have a playlist I just made the other day for watching for vlogs because I'm mm. like, I need to get watching those too. And they maybe like, I should separate mine out like that too. Instead of just watch later, I could just like separate it into like, these are all TBR videos. These are all vlogs. These are all, or you can even book stuff. Set them out 
to like the people that you're watching, you can put their names on it and be like, all these videos, I need to watch them. So I can have my Donna day. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I have the book of Smooth Talking Cowboy by Maisie Yates. I hope it's good. I love me a smooth talking cowboy. Um, Hope you're feeling better soon, Quinn. Yes. Hi, Maria. I'm reading Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez, which is as spicy as it gets for me. It's black pepper at best. I love that. I know. (laughs) Do you want to read that book, too? I've been hearing a lot about it. It's so good. Uh, My watch later is empty, mainly because I don't put videos there. I only put some really important videos that I want to remember, if that made sense. I try to go by my subscription box. Well, see, my problem is that, um, yes, when you have, when somebody has new stuff coming out, it tells you, like, with a little dot that that person has something new on their channel. And I check everybody's dot because I need to know if they have a sprint. So I put it on the spreadsheet. So that's how I figure out who has what spread who has what sprints going on i have to go through the entire subscription list every day which is a lot <laughs> it is <laughs> smatella what are you reading ro um laura thank you so much can't tag on my phone i know that's the suckiest thing about youtube on the phone is you can't tag people which is just dumb mm-hmm Hello, Three Oaks. No cowboy smut for me. Just starting The Ritual by Chantel Tessier. Have you read this one? I've heard. on. I think I've heard of this one. like a college dark romance. Well, I have. I've seen this. And I was like, add to to be read. Yes. (laughs) I want to read this one at some point. Um, Because I I didn't read it with classic literature when they did it. I think I was just delving into dark romance. And then I was like... This looks like I might like it. <laughs> I mean, the cover is my style. <laughs> uh, today, I also started on the rebrand of my Instagram. I want to do less Canva graphics. I did see this earlier. I was on mm-hmm. Brooklyn Sprint, or maybe you said on Dawn. I don't know. I was there um, in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I was just listening to you guys as I was um, putting on makeup and stuff. I was just there on Sunday for funds and because Flawless was my favorite. Oh, okay. That's why I was like, I saw your yeah. picture on there. Okay. Hello, Jojo. I'm reading Dead of Winter by Darcy Coates. I'm waiting for Wild Love to arrive. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm crossing my fingers for you. Donna, go to Blackwell's. I have yeah, I... <laughs> Girl. Yeah, I know. I just yes. don't know if I can actually do that here in This uh, one. This Canada. is the one. Shakespeare. And oh, co. Shakespeare and Co. Okay. I will search it. I forgot to search it the other day for the black. That's balls. where I got it. Yeah. I got uh, the brand is the the publisher is Piatkus or whatever. P A P I A T K U S. Something like okay. that. And I actually liked their, their covers better because they have the writing and cursive instead of the big block form. I can't tell. Yeah. That's on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you couldn't make the whole word on one line. And look at. Oh like, no. So it it's looks like it's off. about to cut off. Like why? <laughs> it it no. haunts me, okay? <laughs> it would haunt me too. Uh it's seven days. Uh, oh yeah, you got seven rolls. Therefore, seven books. For that, plus the secret project book, which I have finished now. Plus, I want to read with you guys. I just want to do everything with every... I feel this, Laura. Um, I literally have three vlogs going on right now. And I'm like, let me pretend like I'm not in the middle of some other vlog. And then I, I'm trying to start another vlog today. So I have four going on. And I'm like, what am I doing? I don't even know anymore. I did that the other day. I literally have a vlog I should have already uh, edited because mm-hmm. it's supposed to go out on Wednesday. <laughs> and then I filmed the Rita Thin announcement today, which I have to edit that goes out on Friday. So mm-hmm. I'm like juggling everywhere. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do during this first sprint is um, finish editing this video that I have because 
I want to get it out to channel members first and then the public so that people can start planning for it because it's for something next month. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I need to do this, especially before I go visit my grandmother, because nothing's going to get done up there. She's going to nope. take all my time. Uh, it's the mountains. They will line up. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Help us. Oh, okay. I know what she's talking about. The spine. Yeah. Okay. The, they'll like whatever books come after they'll line up oh that's cool it'll make like a picture i like that i kind of wish flawless did that <laughs> yeah you might have a first print because it just came out yes um hey paco hey cool gamer i'll be okay lungs are just doing their own thing at the moment transplant doctors don't love that i don't love that for you either mm -mm. Uh, this book title doesn't seem to be retaining. I'm reading the current Elsie Silver that you were reading. Oh, Wild Love. This wild one? Love. Yeah. Okay. I was like, Wildfire? <laughs> <laughs> wild, a oh, wild life is what she said. Um, I was like, oh, I don't know. Is this a nonfiction book about wildlife? <laughs> I mean, it could be. We, it'd just be a weird type of smutty book, but. <laughs> Maybe they're doing it in wildlife. <laughs> nature I don't, nature calls um i organize mine by type of video so beauty commentary booktube documentaries i like that see i'm only on like two sides of youtube where i'm like i have all this book stuff and then i have uh, i watch a bunch of financial people because i've been watching them for i don't know five six years now and it's really cool to see some of their journey like people put their their um finances and stuff online and they just talk like you saw them in debt you know two three hundred thousand dollars in debt and like now they're debt free and i'm like oh this is amazing like cool maybe i'll be yeah. there one day kind of like the those hoarder shows like mm -hmm. huh, i thought my house is bad <laughs> <sighs> hydrate yes i'm i need this today because it like i said it's hot here it's a and this is some real cold water um, I need to thank you and Nikki because I didn't know I liked Cowboy Smut until now. Um, Laura, Nikki is uh, like our, our resident fantasy and monster romance person. So if you also want Rex for that, that's who you hit up. <laughs> I don't know if I have a specific genre. I just kind of like everything. what I like. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I almost went there when I was in Paris, but the line was huge, and we had to go to the airport. Oh, is it, like, famous? Like, world Maybe. famous? Maybe. What other Damn type of smut site, do you like, though. Laura? <laughs> yeah. Let us know, Laura. Laura, bring it out. <laughs> don't, don't do that if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue reading Wild Love. I didn't get far into it, but I can't wait to relax and get into this book. Yes, I'm excited. Um, Shauna, did you read the rest of the uh, Chestnut Springs series? Because I know you read you reread Flawless with me and said you wanted to reread Heartless, but I don't know if that means you read the rest of the books. And then did you also read... Gold Ranch? Gold Rush Ranch? Whatever the other ranch is called i think that's what it's called i remember seeing it i don't know yeah the ones that's like about the horse stuff off, like the, yeah off, off ranch to the races or off to the off to the races photo finish the i can read that cursive uh false start i can't read the middle yeah. one it looks like it says the fart retreat and i'm like that's not right <laughs> Oh, hello, Christina, and beautiful, yeah. smut-loving people. <laughs> a little late as we are caught up to Harry Potter 6, which is probably not very smutty, but here now. I'm throwing a lasso around the like button for a big smooch. <laughs> or you could do what Donna thought earlier and said that you were drinking up the like button. <laughs> so I was like, slurp, slurp the like button. 
Yeah. And then my mind went obviously that way. (laughs) Hi, Jen. I'm reading a traveling book right now. Mother of Trees by Stephen Morris. Very nice. Um, I downloaded Wildlife today from Libby with my library. Maybe there is a book called Wildlife. (laughs) I think it's the Wild Love. (laughs) I'm new to smut, so before Hunting Adeline that I read at the end of last year, and other than that, I have only read, uh, really read Fluffy Smut, really, Dee Dee, just exploring at the moment to find out what I like. I think I'm in the same boat as you. Um, I'm very easily influenced to try almost anything. Me too. <laughs> if you want a real effed up book, and I I mean, I'm. it's probably the most effed up book I have read to date. It's not good. Like, it's not... <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how to describe like the writing's not top tier the um there's a lot of typos whispers in the dark by her name's on the tip of my tongue oh my goodness I can see the the cover in my Letitia Newton and uh it so again it wasn't a great book but the stuff that goes on in that, you're like, WTF. I just put the Goodreads thingy I in the chat. want to read Dark Romance. <laughs> it's another one that I recommend that you, and I'm very serious about this, because like I just said, it is the worst, worst as in like the most intense dark romance that I've read. Like there's um, abuse and... Stockholm syndrome stuff. Okay. And breeding. Yes, I, and... I read the abuse one there. I see it. In yeah. It's a, it's a lot. But it's, it gives you like a gauge on, okay, I don't like this. Or like, well, now I know what's the worst and like what's, maybe the fluffier dark room. You know what I mean? I think it gives you like a good gauge of, of stuff like that. There are several books with the same title. Yeah, that's not fun. No. <laughs> um, hello, every line, a journey. First time here in chat. Uh, let us know if that's what you'd like me to call you or if you have another name that you go by. I usually lurk while I study. Well, thank you for chatting. Trying to finish that sick love today. I have to wait until Monday to finish that with classic literature. That's the book I, uh, Donna, that you were like, "Ooh, mask. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a, it's a religious stark romance. So they are, um, the main female character is like, a. I don't really know what, I don't know like what her position or title is, but she's something in the church and she has a stalker named Aero, like A-E-R-O, and her name is Bryony. Uh, And he's basically stalking her, and she likes it. And the stuff he does with her, to her, whatever, I don't know. It's -hmm. not my favorite, but I'm reading it. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, anything with a mask. (laughs) Yeah, and I think he does wear a mask. I don't know. It's I don't think I'm like a religious dark romance kind of person. Like it's just not my scene because I'm not yeah, very okay. religious. But yeah, Could try it, see what happens. Mm-hmm. It's a big book. It's like it's a thicky. Um, I did the budget mom and paid off all my debt except my mortgage in two years. It was so amazing. That is amazing, Jen. I, yeah, I followed the budget mom too. I want to be on that level someday. But it's going to take a long time to pay off student loans. It's actually a famous bookstore in Paris. Oh, I didn't. I thought it was just like a Barnes and Noble kind of thing. Like that was just France's Barnes and Noble. Nope. It wow. is the best place I don't, you can go. I don't fault you for being like, mm, that line's too long. Goodbye. No, thank you. Laura, Christina. Hey, Donna. Long time. I know it's been so long. (laughs) I'm going to try this. Beatrice. Can't do it. (laughs) I think I emphasize the Z more there. Um, How are you doing? I'm okay. Like I said, just hot. (laughs) Like roasting here. 
Um, hi, Paula. Just headed into my last sprint. Wanted to drop in and boop the like button. Thanks for stopping by. And everyone, make sure that you go and and check out uh, Paula's channel too, and just show some love. I have read all of the Chestnut Springs series. Going to be continuing my reread in May with Heartless. I haven't read Elsie Silver's other series, but they're on my TBR. I got you. I knew what you meant. <laughs> um, check out the Thorn Chapel series by Sierra Simone. Uh, is this a recommendation for all of us dark romance <laughs> girlies? Uh, hey, Jen. My brain could not read for a second. Let's see. Got a political ad for more information about Israel's bombings. What? Talking. I don't control what ads go out, to be honest. I did try to actually, Jean, I did change it where I put it to the beginning. Um, or no, 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 what did I click? Conservative. So it gives you less because before it was at every 30 minutes and you said that was too frequent. And then I tried to do it at the beginning, but it doesn't give me that option. Um, like it says, insert insert ads where you want to put them, but then it doesn't give me the option to put them anywhere. So hmm. I don't know what to do about that. Google. <laughs> yeah, Google I'll didn't help when I tried to do this. So. I, was say, I wouldn't trust Google. <laughs> yeah, right, Dr. Google. Just added it to my KU. Currently listening to the September House and thought I joined some sprints. Well, thank you for being here. I feel like I'm reading slower than I was earlier because I'm tired. It's 1036 p.m. for me, but we'll see um, how far I get into wild love. The uh, Thorn Chapel series. I have the first book. I don't have it, but I want to read it. It is the A Lesson in Thorns. It's got that girl oh. with the nice, like, shirt, but like you get the... the Destiny. I actually downloaded that at one point and I was going to read because I think classic literature read the first book and mm -hmm. I was going to, but I think like it didn't have an audio book or something. And I was like, eh, I can't yeah. really do that right now. Yeah. I do want to read that one at one point. Um, also check out the Salacious Players Club series, except Madam, that, belo that book belongs to the trash. Oh, that's <laughs> not good. But is it something that we should actually look out for, though? Like, if Madam, I've is heard not that one a couple times. So yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to getting it. <laughs> it's cooler up here. Uh, by the way, you said my name almost perfectly, Beatriz, like that. I can't roll my R's right now. I can't roll my R's. I don't even want to try. <laughs> Uh, Thorn Chapel isn't that dark, in my opinion, but it's very smutty and has sapphic rep. Okay. And Shauna okay. has read uh, Salacious Players Club and loves it. And then, okay. Laura has Whispers in the Dark, Burned, Where's Molly? Wait. Okay. Wait. Did you read Satan's Affair then? If you read Haunting and Hunting Adeline? It's Sibby's yeah. book. I, I heard you have to read the Satan's Affair first, then haunting, haunting, then hunting, then where's Molly? Yeah, My you favorite. can you can read the novellas out of order, but I'm actually very glad I did it in the order you just said. Okay. So I I think out of all of the books, to be honest, Satan's Affair might be my favorite. Really? Yes. Because okay. Sibby okay. is just so delulu. And it's just I don't want to say funny because it sounds really mean, but then like I got to see more of her personality and hunting and I was like, oh my God, I love this girl. Like what? I haven't She's read them so yet, cray. but I finally got all the books. So now I can actually start. Yes. I would do it in the order that you said, because then it, um, like, yes, some of the stuff I guess will be referenced later, but it's, it's almost like played out. Mm hmm. Um, uh, Anyway, I would do it in the order you just said. Yeah. <laughs> um, how does it feel? How does it feel? Why does that sound so familiar? Do you mean does it hurt? By H.D. Carlton? I don't know. Still beating, very good book. Out of all the ones listed here, still beating is the one to do first. That is 
It's Who's that because, by? Jennifer Hartman. Jennifer Hartman. So uh, the reason I say it's so oh, good. Oh, it's all I want to read already. In my opinion, okay. So it's I really like stuff that has this moral aspect to it, and it's like, oh shit, what do you do? Like when you're put in this situation, I don't want to spoil anything because then it'll like if I literally say parts of it, it's gonna be like, well, well, that's the that's the plot. Yeah. But it's just like. Oh my God. Just read that one. <laughs> okay. Your reaction says it all. <laughs> yes. I wish I had vlogged that one. Like I might, maybe I'll just reread it and vlog it again. Ooh, I can get the audio book. It's good. Um, no way. Daisy's book is the worst. Eden's is amazing. What is this for? Is this, uh, the salacious players? Cause I don't know any of the people. Also, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> a little less R. I don't know if I can do. You'll just have to like voice record it and then. Well, actually, you probably say it in your videos. I'll just listen to you over and over. <laughs> so if you if you get like a spike in your videos of me listening to one specific part. <laughs> you you know the spike. That's Vanessa. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is spicy. Is this salacious players? Um, I think so. Okay, okay. I thought the Thorn Chapel series also had sibling sibling love. Like incest. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really like the Salacious series. I have not read I don't know how to say this word, Menage or the Madam or the Older Gentleman. I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't even heard of Satan's Affair until you mentioned it in the Discord. Oh, 100% recommend. Yeah. I haven't Hunting. read it, but yeah. <laughs> Hunting is my favorite. Um, I think Hunting would be my second. And then Where's Molly and then Haunting. I will let you know when I read them which ones. I connect to. <laughs> yes, and this is true. H.D. Carlton encourages you to read Satan's Affair first. I love still beating. I recommend that. Yeah, see? See? How does it feel is by Janine O'Reilly. I think it was a rec. Oh, okay. Uh, I, did I think I knew what the... Co Isn't this fantasy, though? Or am I crazy? Jennifer Hartman recently came out with a new book called Older. I'm hoping to read it next month. I did just buy a couple of her books recently. I bought June 1st, The Stars Are on Our Side. And then I did just see that she had that one um, that you just mentioned, older, and I haven't gotten that one yet. Satan's Affairs on KU. Beatrice, why don't you just send it to her as a voice message on Instagram? <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. I'm thinking of vlogging still beating for a reading Riley faves video. I hundred yes, please do. Oh, Thorn Chapel has incest. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to read that. Uh, same hunting Molly then haunting for me too. I still plan to read Does It Hurt, but I have to be less in the mind frame I was in. The one guy was reminding me too much of my ex-brother-in-law and just couldn't at that time. I was intrigued by the beginning, though. Maybe it is a fantasy. I was trying to look it up, but... It's I like, can't. I think, a green cover. Yeah, I yeah, see yeah. the green cover. Yeah, Infatuated Fae. Okay. I was like, it's not dark romance, I don't think. I think the cover looks creepy to me, but it does. Um, Imagine Sasha, having all that feel like on your skin. <laughs> yeah. I was looking forward to Eden's story and was let down badly. It was more the other girl's story. I forget her name as I'm trying to erase it from my memory. I will be watching that. Yes. Everyone, if you're going to start reading, still beating, vlog it. <laughs> I will watch it. That's fair, Virtue, or DD. Uh, but Highest Bitter has got to be the weak link. I want to know what you guys are talking about. 
<laughs> I'm in the same boat. <laughs> well, my first task is I need to go walk my dog. And then uh, I'm going to edit a video while I listen. Well, I can't listen at the same time. I'm going to edit my video because I really want to get that out. And then I'm going to listen to Wild Love. So I think what we're going to do is a 75-minute sprint. Um, That's perfect. And then we'll do one more after, and I think we're probably done. Just because long sprints, long talking, whatever. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I have to make dinner in this sprint, so. Okie dokes. All right, let me see how do I switch over like this. <laughs> You already forgot. I'm like, I'm like the the old you know person that can't figure it out. I'm like, hmm, hmm. I don't know. Need your glasses. I do. <laughs> All right. So we will see you guys in 75 minutes. Happy sprinting.
Hello, hello. How did everybody sprint to go? Um, I walked to the pup, took a shower because I was hot, finished editing my video, uploaded it. Channel members can see it now. And then I started Wild Love. So I'm on chapter three currently. How Yay. About you? Little Rhett Rodeo King. <laughs> I wanted to put something toward the fact that I'm. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> that I'm reading uh, Flawless, so that's why mm -hmm. I changed the name to that. Um, so I cooked my kids dinner. I'm not hungry. Like the food that the husband gave me today was just, that was a lot. <laughs> so. Um, what did you eat? I, I had um, like sausages with bacon and. Uh, Lots of meat, huh? <laughs> sausage and bacon. Uh, sausage at two <laughs> sausages. <laughs> oh, two. two sausages. Why choose? <laughs> and three. Wait, wait, wait. Three <laughs> bacon. Um, I had eggs and then home fries with some toast. So like it was a lot. Plus there was um fruit that came with it. And so, like, it was a whole lot of, like, yeah. And then I made my kids um, this, what's it called? It's like a penne pasta dish that has, like, um, marinara sauce and Alfredo sauce together in it. It's really good. That sounds so good. That sounds good. Yeah. And then I took the recycling out <laughs> with my daughter. <laughs> Very nice. Well, welcome, Coda. What are you up to? I discovered that I needed a nap by waking mm -hmm. up from it. Um, yeah, that was good. That's about it. <laughs> I I got to 47% and the Providence arc this morning, which turns out was pretty smutty. And um, yeah, haven't started Wild Love yet, but I'm ready to. <laughs> the first chapter, it like, well... You kind of know, I think if you read the back of the book, I yeah, think, I don't, I don't somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we it's don't just, do that here. <laughs> he's got like a kid that he doesn't know about. So like the first chapter is like, sup, fucker, I'm your, di I'm your kid. <laughs> That's like basically what she says. <laughs> She's like 12. All right, I'm ready. So, <laughs> so it, it gets started. But yeah. Tell us about this this Providence book you're talking about. So it's this arc I got from Nat Galley, and it's about this college professor. He's like an English professor. Who? Goodbye. That's a really good question. <laughs> I'm trying to like see if it's Craig something. Hold on, I'll find it. Um, Craig will 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 see W I. L L S E. Do you want story graph or Goodreads link? Goodreads. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, right I'm like I don't, it's not coming up. Um, it's a day, or maybe it's not a debut. Maybe he has one other book. Anyhow, it's here. I'll throw the, I'll throw it in the both comments. So, um, he, it's, this guy is a professor and he's like, so you guys, I don't read synopsis. So I'm just going to tell you what I like, what it's about by what I've read. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and he's like infatuated with like this kid that goes to, the, that's in his class. And so far that's pretty much all. Like, it's just like this underdeveloped tension between this infatuation but he also has a boyfriend and the kid's a student but he's 19 oh. it's yeah so far there's not like a anything much more to the plot but i'm inter i'm entertained it's it's not bad there's some formatting issues with this one of course uh -oh. <laughs> coda's over here getting started already i'm just gonna mention it because <laughs> it's not so like it's just formatting there's there's not really any spelling errors the spelling errors that i have found it's like there was supposed to be a space between two words so also formatting issues um 
Yeah. Comes out next week, apparently. Sitting in like a three and a half right now, maybe four. I don't know. All right. Well, I mean, the book is <laughs> three point seven on Goodreads. So it's yeah, just... it's not. It's not bad. It's the beginning is a little. Like I was a little confused in the first couple chapters because it's just a lot of like a big info dump on this guy and his friends and stuff. And so like I'm having to relearn his friends' names like as they reappear throughout the story. I think it has skipped all that. But <clears throat> and I don't know what the what the story is really about, like I said, <laughs> as far as other than that. But that's well, this is the one liner. An introverted English professor falls for an enigmatic enigmatic sophomore and is lured into a web of chaos and deceit. Ooh, I can't wait for the deceit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. Well, let's see what everybody got up to. Um, okay, we were talking about some smutty books, some dark romance books. So, highest I bitter... Ask, guys. <laughs> I intended to be here on time, but <laughs> old age prevails. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay uh, so highest bitter praise eyes on me are my favorite from the salacious player series and these, yeah okay these are apparently this is a series we should read um highest bitter is salacious mm -hmm. player series and i was referring to it as the old guy book <laughs> right. so someone doesn't like thruples got it I like thruples. I'm in a thruple. Jokingly, I will say that. <laughs> My best friend and her husband love when I come over and help with their baby. And they're like, you're just like our the third part of our thruple. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we dual streaming? I think Donna's trying it some other. Oh, were you supposed to do it today? It was going to be Monday. Okay, next Monday. Okay, <laughs> Next Monday. Hello, Cass. How are you? What you doing? Didi, is your account on Instagram marked as private? Yes. I'm going to request. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused about the incest that you referred to, but then I remembered, did you finish the series? I've never started. Oh, this is for Sasha. I was like, I've never started this series. Hi. Um, currently scoring state test for Pearson. Hi, the basement dwellers here. Basement daddy. The daddy dweller. <laughs> Leave it. I kept getting mixed up on what, what his name was. I was like, I don't know. Daddy dweller or something. Daddy dweller. Basement daddy dweller. No. Mm -hmm. That's not what a daddy dweller is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kid in this book is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next thing you know, he's going to pop up on screen as Donna's daddy or something. <laughs> that would be a that would be a good book title. Donna's <laughs> daddy. daddy. <laughs> Yo, I did tell him that he needs to start writing a romance. You know, he doesn't really write. I was like, you need to write a romance about being in the basement. <laughs> That one's not another. called Donna's Daddy because that one doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> I mean, Donna's Dungeon. <clears throat> Donna's Dungeon. Ooh. Maybe, Ooh. maybe Donna's Daddy's the third in the trilogy. <laughs> the <rest laughs> well, there's going to be three books. Holy jumping. Where are we? When are we? I writing? mean, as long as there's enough steam, you can't just skip on it like knotted for. Five <laughs> chapters and then come back teasing. You, and then, you gotta take it easy. You can't be too much, but you can't I mean, be nothing. <laughs> if you're gonna start out hard, go for the gold. <laughs> so I got this email earlier today from some author that I don't remember signing up for their newsletter. And she had these these books, and I happened to look at it because my name was in it, and I was like, Oh, what's this? It's called Breeding Vanessa series. <laughs> what? So we have <laughs> it's a three book series. We have claiming Vanessa, ruining Vanessa, 
and keeping Vanessa. Oh, I just saw there's a, a novella in between two and three called Treating Vanessa. Ooh, and Christmas with that. Vanessa and her men. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are we reading these? Oh, hold up. I'm like, re what <laughs> content warnings? Ridiculous gifts, vaginal DP, double penetration, breastfeeding kink, and mentions of violence. Uh, she'll be nice and preggers Stop. when keeping I, Vanessa's starts. What, what was the first one again? Claiming Vanessa. No, what was the first trigger warning? Oh, ridiculous gifts. That's a trigger? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I don't want to read ridiculous this. Ridiculous myths or ridiculous gifts? Gifts. Like, I'm going to give you a gift. I guess that could be a trigger for some people. <laughs> This I don't know mafia, how to get it. <laughs> it's a mafia romance of sorts, but it has a lot of pregnancy kink in it, like breeding kink, which I'm like, eh. I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe huh. we have I to mean, try this. Maybe you need maybe to read not. it to find out. We, we, need, a, we need a read along. <laughs> we need to do a read along. Are these long books? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 350 right. pages. Dark reverse harem, male male. Okay, I can get behind that. Um, there's abuse, menage. Why do I keep saying this word? I don't know what. It, oh, erotic, erotica or romances of more than two people. What you drinking, Coda? <laughs> red bear. <laughs> Spicy red bear. Spicy. Yeah, I'd show you, but, you know, they're not paying Vanessa for us to advertise. <laughs> Got a glare. Oh, wow. Spicy. Clamato. <laughs> yeah. It's refreshing. <laughs> I just wanted something sweet, honestly. And there, it was like cranberry juice or soda or beer, which isn't sweet, to be honest with you. But it's fruity. Got tomato in it. <laughs> I guess that's a positive. Anyways, it won. Um, I could have sworn Ford was narrated by Jacob Morgan, but it says Zachary Weber. Yeah, and then the girls like Vanessa somebody. Oh, I was looking at that because I was like, who? What? What are we talking about? And I realized it's for the book for Wild Love, and Vanessa I was like, Edwin. I mean, that's the other thing I did. I need to go through. I went through all of the flawless audiobooks on who was doing like the stuff. Oh yeah, I, there's one that Joe Arden. I think it's powerless. Are you reading like, Wild Love with us? No, I don't have it right now, but I am reading Flawless. So, mm. so but Powerless has Teddy Hamilton and I was like, I I need I need mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teddy Hamilton is my man. He narrates <laughs> so many books. He narrates the freaking last freaking chapter for fourth wing for Zayden. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. Mm. It's only one chapter. And if you guys didn't know this, I just found this out because I was trying to send Donna the link for the, the uh, books from Paris or whatever. The next book in the Rose Hill series, which is the one right after Wild Love, is called Wild Eyes. And I've it's seen that there. September 2024 is when it comes out. Okay. Mm. So. My and then birthday. I gifted a bunch of people memberships. <laughs> you know. I'll go. So if you if you got a membership, it was <laughs> random, so I didn't get to pick who. Um, there's a video I just put out that you have access to, and the public will get to see it tomorrow. <laughs> the um. And I saw this come in. Jill, I do not do psychiatry stuff because I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm a psychologist, so I don't prescribe meds. I, I have an extra S in there. I didn't mean to. But I uh, just got back from a beautiful park day. was reading Pestilence, and I'm 75% through. How is this book? Because I have it. Cass actually gifted it to me. I haven't read it yet. And you're welcome. And you are welcome. <laughs> And you You're are welcome. welcome. 
<laughs> and you are welcome. Membership for you and a membership for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, hello. Um, currently making dinner and hoping to read more of Icebreaker 309 of 429. Sorry, 308 of 429. I think you'll finish it today if that's your goal. Hello, Rye. How's it going? What are you reading? I have a massive headache. 92 pages into Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee. Trying to deal with med shit, too. I hope you get it figured out. I wish I could help you with that, but I don't know how to. That's not my my lane. Um, 222 pages of Wild Love, and I'm enjoying it. Nice. I'm enjoying it so far, too. I'm only two chapters in. <laughs> are you reading or listening, Shauna? Eyeballs I think Shauna. I think Shauna started Wicked uh, Kingdom of the Wicked on my sprints today, and finished said book on my sprints today. <laughs> she listens at like three point six to three point eight. I think she said or something like that. Yeah, fast wrong, processing Shana. speed. I need like better. I know she got a good CPU in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine would be like, <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Oh, Coda. Christina got almost to chapter 28, Harry Potter 6, and supper's almost ready. And That's Donna seems to be all about the wide chew. She wants all the meat. I want all the meat. <laughs> There's some I won't take, though. Like. What? Like. Oh, I'll tell you no. one I won't take. <laughs> so, I like breakfast sausages. Mm -hmm. I hate those big, those big ones. The like, that but one? it's funny because in real life I wouldn't prefer a breakfast sausage. Like on a man, I would prefer the big <laughs> ones. <laughs> so you don't like bratwurst? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, I don't like that. <laughs> me it neither. Just right. Creeps me out. I feel like I'm just eating a penis. Well, you know it would help. Put mayonnaise all over the bun. What, like it came all over it? No, it just tastes good. <laughs> but if you want to solidify your fear. Oh, gosh. No, thank you. Make it all creamy before you eat it. Oh, gosh. My friend sent me a picture today. I've seen stuff like this before. But I don't think she knew what kind of books I like to read. But she got uh, this bookmark that says, I don't watch porn. I read it like a fucking lady. <laughs> like, oh my that's gosh, me. Goes around. What does it look like? Does it have like... There's different ones. I've seen them. I, I'm like, I need one. <laughs> like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do know there is... Um, there, I'm gonna have to find the website for you guys again, but there is a a bookmark I want to get. <laughs> There's dragon kind, like dragon scales. There is like an ogre looking one. Okay, but you're you're not hold on. There there's also like a lightning bolt one, but there's it's on a piece of board thing with the hand going like this, and it's a penis, <laughs> and it's a bookmark. <laughs> And I was like, I need it. <laughs> I have a penis-shaped coffee mug. No and way. The mug are the balls. And the hand <laughs> the dick. Oh, you know, I need to see a photo of that. Well, you know, at the start of the house. pandemic, um, my best friend was getting married. And she had her bachelorette party. And we were trying to be, like, safe if we were to go anywhere. So my mom actually does like alterations and stuff. Like she's like a tailor and she'll, she actually started making um, like face masks, like cloth ones. And I said, I'm going to send you this fabric. Don't laugh at me when you get it, but can you make it for me? Like make masks out of it so that I can do, I can bring them to the bachelorette party and everybody can have one. They had penises all over them. So when she got the, <laughs> she got the fabric, she's like, why do you want a penis all over your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, just don't worry about it. Just make it. Just make it, okay? Make it, and then later on, we'll just slap it on. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Just slap it on. You just slap it across your face. 
<laughs> oh, you guys are learning so much about me. Um, <laughs> same here. Uh, page 168 of Wild Love. Hi, Maggie. For once, my homework is done and I made good progress on my research before the brain died. Well, good. You come read us and um, read for fun now. Donna's Dungeon sounds like a horror novel. <laughs> Uh, ridiculous gifts like a carved <laughs> wooden replica of your mate's fal. How do you say this word? Phallus. 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 It's Phallus. like a penis, I guess. <laughs> 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 You're welcome. We love a Teddy narration. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. I am reading Wild Love with my eyeballs, but I do not. But I do have an audiobook that I might switch to now. And I did read all of Kingdom of the Wicked on Donna's Sprints. I have books to get through. She's like, I got goals. <laughs> I think earlier she said um, she had like 10 books she had to read before like the end of the month or something. Yeah. And I think. I'm going to need another nap. Time. <laughs> so the last challenge she had, it was she had like 20 books to read in like a week or two weeks or something like that. So, My goodness. If I get through 20 books a week, it's going to be books like this, these like little manga or graphic novels or whatever. Same. That's the only way I could read 20. Yep. Um, I really like it. Books. <laughs> mm -hmm. It being Pestilence didn't pick up too much for me until like chapter five, which isn't bad compared to some stuff I've read. But the banter and horsemen learning what feelings is kind of. Oh, yeah. These are like the headless horseman books. I forgot about that, mm. which sounded interesting to me. Um, <laughs> hi, Megan. I was like, Me Megan is my name -o. Oh, gosh. I can't eat mayo after reading Captured by Lauren Beale. That mayo scene, I just absolutely can't. Now I need to know what this book is. What? <laughs> Captured. I at least need to see the cover. Let's see. Watch I have it on my to be read list. <laughs> Ooh, it's a pretty cover. Ebook ban due to content. Ebook can be purchased on my website or some oh, yeah, platforms. Yeah. Wow. It's on Amazon. They don't care. Oh, it says paperbacks are available on Amazon and Etsy. Supposedly I can get it on Everend. Ooh. Readers also wow. enjoyed That Sick Love and Better Run and Where's Molly, which are all books I've read. <laughs> Great. Add to want to read. Yep, just did it. Thanks for the recommendation, Megan. Paperback is cheap. How much? It's, it's only like 13 bucks. <laughs> well, you know. Is it on Everand as an audio? Uh no, it's ebook. Okay. 238 pages. That's not too bad. I could read that with my eyeballs. Like, where's Molly? I read with my eyeballs because the audiobook <clears throat> hadn't come out by the, when I read it. And that was that was good enough. Oh, they spell Alexander like Alex and Xander put together. Yeah, I see that. Ophelia. This dark horror romance has extreme content. Count me in, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, That was in IPB by... Oh, the statue? Have I... Is it the first one? Because I haven't read past the first one. Jean got distracted by Vera Wong's unsolicited advice for murderers at 40%. It is so cute, but no smut. <laughs> uh, whoops, did not mean to do that, Megan. I don't know what you did. Maybe something I can't see. Let me see. What'd you do? <laughs> did you accidentally ban somebody? Oh, message deleted. Oh, okay, okay. Deleted. Gosh, Christina, so mean. <laughs> You're acting out already, Christina. I have finished the challenge with my mom. I won, so that's 20 books read. Now I have 10 books to read for the challenge with my dad. Some Attila books, reading vlog books, and book club books. My goodness. Get it done. She's more huh. insane than me. <laughs> I may have issues with mashed potatoes and gravy after wear turkey, Megan. No. <laughs> I haven't read I that one yet. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah. I don't know if I would read that. I, I don't know. We'll see if I read it. <laughs> I'd read it probably around Thanksgiving. 
Um, I have 25 anything for me that was delicious <laughs> because if it's delicious, I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> Same. Um, I have 25 books I need to read before the end of the month, so I have two weeks. You could probably do this. End of the world, horseman, not headless. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make it, you know, kind of gory and horror. The four horsemen, <laughs> or you know, head as in muddy head, you know. It's dark. Be warned. The mayo scene may induce vomiting. It did for me. Oh. <laughs> I, I now want to read this like immediately. Um, <laughs> it's on KU. Get rid of it. <laughs> only thirteen pages. What? <laughs> the Wear Turkey book. Okay. Oh. The gift that Charles was talking about was in IPB. Oh. <laughs> Christina is almost being as mean as chat bot. Good goodness. Yeah, night bot. Gosh, Christina. Christina, we might have to get the toddler back in to ban ya. Uh, Zach says, hi. I'll be finishing One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. It feels like a 1.5 star. Oh, but no. I'm the only one who seems to hate it. Then rewarding myself with to discipline a witch. <laughs> I wonder why, why do you feel like <laughs> <laughs> that song? Okay. My partner, I told him it's, you know, smack my bitch up. Right. He goes, no, it's snap my picture. And I said, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to pull up the lyrics from him. He's like, oh, okay. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, hell? did you guys listen to the one I sent you? What was it called? Wait, wait. Oh, wait. It was in the chat. Um, Maybe. <laughs> People send me so much stuff. The David Allen Co. one? Yeah. yeah it was Little so Susie Swallow uh, Throat. Oh, I haven't yet. Oh, I think right, you right. sent it. Yeah. Uh, technically... I listened to, I got, I, I made the husband listen to the one that was in the book. And then I found that one and I was like, I'll send it to you guys. And then I found a coffee one that's not for little ears, but Wait, it's named why can't coffee. I find it? And I sent that to Christina. <laughs> Can you send it again? Cause I don't see it in the chat. Yeah, I did send. Dirty shame. Okay. I will. But yeah, Zach, let me know what what you're like not feeling about this book. Uh, I'm just curious. I'm not I'm not hating on you for hating it. Uh, you should read it, Vanessa, but not while eating, especially mashed potatoes and gravy. Remind me during like Thanksgiving or something. I didn't mean it. I did not have my mouse for a bit as I was cooking, so I touched the screen so I could chat on it. No, I'm not mad at you. You're good. Usually, I mean, usually it'll come, the comment will come through on StreamYard regardless. And sometimes if I see someone deleted, they, they, they would try to retract their statement. I'll know not to read like the first one they said usually because they retracted it, but it doesn't show up on StreamYard as them retracting it. Or like if someone gets a comment deleted, it doesn't get um, deleted off of, of StreamYard. Okay, let's do one more sprint. I think we're going to go a little, little shorter, though, like 45 minutes. Because I'm actually very tired today. I've been up for a long time. Um, okay. Where's my timer? I lost it. Okay. Okay, I'm sending both in the private chat the uh, little Susie sh shallow throat. I want to say swallow throat. I mean, that's what I it sounds like it should coffee. be. I also sent the coffee one, too. Okay, I'm going to listen to that. All right, so we'll see you guys in 45 minutes. Happy sprinting.
Hello, hello. How did everybody sprint go? Um, I got up to like chapter seven in Wild Love. And then I just did some puzzling. How about you guys? I'm in chapter three. <laughs> of Wild Love? Yeah. Yay. Um, I read the rest of chapter seven and just hit like just after chapter eight in uh, Flawless. Nice. Still going good so far? Yeah. Um, I, okay. So technically I should just keep my like, I should have done it earlier too. kept my camera on because there's a couple of times where I'm like reading it because I'm also writing in it, but I'm reading it. And I was like, oh my God, like, <laughs> do that. Or oh I'll be like, I was like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> or I'll be like, oh, <laughs> like, Aww. I'll like make these little things like it's yeah. That's cute. Hey, having a good time. I am. I am having a good time at the, the banter in it is hilarious. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and thank you, Donna, for becoming a member. Oh, so you got to go see the, the new video and what yeah, it's all about. That after. That after. <laughs> and um, the coffee song. I didn't get to listen to that one, but I did listen to the other one, the Susie whatever. Hello, and, <laughs> yeah, and I sent it to my friend and I was like, he has another song. I mean, he's got lots of songs, but she's yeah. like, does this guy only write about dicks? And I was like, I guess so. Like, they're funny, though. She's like, yeah, they're pretty catchy. You need to listen to the coffee one, because the first thing I think of is it, it just says coffee and then by and then his name. And I'm like, you know, th this is a warning that children should not listen to these songs by this guy <laughs> because coffee doesn't mean anything. It just you think of coffee. But the song has a lot. <laughs> I'm going to have, yeah, I pulled it up so I can listen to it when I hop off. Um, Christina, <laughs> yeah, the one I sent you on Insta. Okay. A lot of things feel simplistic. Oh, I think this is about One Dark Window, like a yeah. middle grade, but there's some adult content. Also things like people supposedly have important jobs, but seem to have unlimited free time. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that one was pretty funny. Yeah, I think all his songs are really funny. It's well, very, like, this way, Christina mentioned that Charles said that he can hum it, but he can't sing it out loud when he's working. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the... Um, what do you call it? The thumbnail, not the thumbnail, but it, it's paused right now. And it says the best of both X rated albums. I, I, I know. I've seen that. I was like, he has an X rated album. <laughs> All of it. X rated. <laughs> um, hello, Maul. I'm nearly done with Shoot for the Moon, a mystery. 40 pages left. And listening to The Cruel Prince or some rom-com will depend on my mood. Thanks for sprint. Thanks for joining us. 30 pages away from finishing Wild Love. But I'm going to finish it tomorrow as it's late and I'm tired. Fair. <laughs> it also feels like an accomplishment <clears throat> first thing in the morning. You're like, I finished a book, you know? So. Right. We had supper, got to the middle of chapter 29. And none of you are this far, so I can't say anything. Christina. I, I made it to like I was saying to Christina earlier is I made it to chapter 18 in the Harry Potter 6 but I've also been like already listening to this since like I think the second half of last year or like maybe this year Christina I know you were getting ahead because you were afraid to get behind on Thursday but we're only going to 26 on Thursday, so you're way ahead, bro. <laughs> and I'm far behind. I'm not even joining. I'm just kind of reading with I'm my far son. Behind too. 
I'm just reading with my son, but it's like I read during his bedtime. So it's like I have Tuesday and Thursdays to read this book with him. And then like I will do Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday if I, you know, if he wants it on his night. So half the year will probably take up the rest of this book. Sure. Zach has 13 minutes left in the audiobook at two times speed. Are you also no, you're are you only doing one dark window or are you listening to Wild Love as well? Uh, we listened to the coffee one this morning before Charles went to work and he got stuck in his head. <laughs> sorry. <Okay>. Not sorry. <laughs> I have feels right now and they came while I was eating. Good feels or bad feels? <laughs> I have Tummy to read while my son's yeah. available. Tummy I, feels? I, <laughs> I want ice cream Mexican right food? now. <laughs> I had ice cream last night. I took the rest. The kids were like, can I have some? I was like, no, I took the rest. So there's no fighting. <laughs> no, you it's need fine. ice cream in my life. <laughs> you do? Thank you yeah. guys for being here. I'm like so tired today. But if you want more sprinting, Lexi is sprinting, and so is Brianna from Four Paws in a Book. And yeah, you could join either one. I'm going to go to bed. It's almost 8.30 is... here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I don't know why. Like, yesterday. I too. It's, it's a Monday. What's the weather like? Because here, it's definitely the weather that makes me. Makes yes. Me I will say that yesterday and today were really hot, and so heat usually makes me really tired. Oh, it hailed today, too. And I was like, what the hell? Because so I was maybe, driving down the road. Maybe it's the abrupt change, because that's what it is for me. Like, the sun, sun doesn't make me tired, but, like, if it's sunny, sunny, and then all of a sudden it's cloudy and wet and mm. dark and dank and dreary. <sighs> <laughs> I think I've also just been getting up like really early too for some reason. <clears throat> well. Um, oh, and Brandy Shanae is also easy. sprinting. And Jess, lots of people sprinting. So you got you got lots of options, guys. Um, I watched your new video and chatted to a friend. I should be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited because Dee Dee's gonna gonna join in. That's all I'll say. Finished and going to going for Unfurled by Elodie Hart. I don't know what this is about. I'm gonna Google. Oh, I almost got books. That book you um told me about that don't stop one. Mm-hmm. I I'm reading the dedication. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell it me. says this is for my readers who are brave enough for a mix of dark humor, spice. Frankenpeens and corpse threesomes, ride or die, well, ride and die. The hell? You, <laughs> you 100% lost me at Frankenpeens. <laughs> I, oh my goodness. I, I searched up Frankenpeens. <laughs> I searched up Frankenpeens <laughs> and it gave me Frank, Frankenween, weenie, the, the, oh yeah. Table. And then I searched up. I was like, what the heck are we talking about corpse threesome? So I searched it up. Probably not something I should have searched up because, like, there were some, like, police searches for stuff. And I was like, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> I'm reading the synopsis to Amal's book here. And just, I don't, maybe I should read the whole thing. But I'm getting, like, little, little bits and pieces. But this is something like... Um, like he, I want more than one bite, more than a bite. I want to devour it, have its juices spill from my lips. And by apple, I, of course, mean sex. What? <laughs> See, I should read the whole thing. And then what? it says, Unfurl is a steamy age gap contemporary romance featuring multiple partner play and a monogamous happily ever after. Well, now you don't have to read it. <laughs> You well, know, how boring. You're going to play with multiple people and then just be happy with one? Why choose? She's just getting it out of her system. 
Then she got BDSM in this. Then she got 40. She was like, (laughs) you know what? Maybe just you. Maybe just you. Oh my gosh. And that's it from now on. I'll just choose this one. This one's better at the the play time. Play time. Um, would it spoil it if I told you the type of feels? I mean, to be honest, I'll forget by the time I read the book, so. For Harry Potter? Yeah. Um, yeah, don't tell me the feels. (laughs) Do y'all have, like, a spoiler? You're two days ahead now. It's not even one day. You're, like, a week (laughs) ahead now. (laughs) Is there a spoiler section in Discord? Uh, Dakota Freeze? (laughs) I think so. (laughs) Well, good night, Amal. Good night. I'm hoping a fate inked and blood goes much better. Not reading Wild Love, all good. I liked a fate inked and blood a lot. I really need that one. Yes, you do. <laughs> so good. Um, like, I, yeah. Yes, Coda's still like <laughs> hundred more pages of pestilence left. Gonna take a shower and clean a bit during this break. I'm uh, gonna eat my cheese toast. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Gonna eat my cheese, toasty, and then bed. I love Unfurl by Elodie Hart and the other books in the series. Okay. Well, was it tasty? <laughs> <laughs> the second book is the best. Choose the best one. Offer probably the why choose the one. Oh, that yeah. yeah. See, this is why I didn't say it. Nice phrase, Coda. Oh, okay, the book's not for you. Is that his tongue? Mm. That's what I thought. He was like... (laughs) It was his tongue. (laughs) I mean, it's perfect for what we're doing tonight. (laughs) Well, I mean, like, I always hate when I... When I get frozen, but then I get frozen on something that's like... (laughs) (laughs) Like like a weird face. I've had a couple of streams before where I'm like... And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. a good one. Okay. Those ones are good. <laughs> I don't think, I think I froze a couple of times, but I don't think they were that bad. At least I hope not. <laughs> Maybe, I guess his internet went out because he's not back and he's not backstage <laughs> or anything. <sighs> we'll, we'll chat and Instagram and find out what, what happened. Yes. I try to send you guys um, the video. Yeah, did you guys get it? No, I was like, where is it? I was it's- waiting, and I was like, well, I'll just wait a little bit more. Oh, my, I guess my net went out. Oh. Or is out. Well, good night, Coda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something besides sex triggered me. Ah, okay. 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 Poor Coda. <laughs> well, you probably see him again on Wednesday or Tuesday or, I don't know, every day because he's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever he is next, you'll see Coda. Have fun with this book, Amal. I was bored. <laughs> Sleep sweet. Thanks, guys, for joining tonight. And I'm excited for you all to see the video tomorrow. I think for public, it comes out 5 p.m. And then for members, it com- it's out now. So it'll be a fun time. It's um, it's, it's free. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> um internet's trying to tell you so he's trying to tell you go to bed go to more go napping back to go back mm-hmm. to bed. yeah That's well we need. i it don are you i can't talk wow this is how you know i'm tired are you coming on wednesday yeah yeah i was planning to oh, do look, that he's back. He's back. <laughs> hi oh you're very I'm laggy oh no <laughs> We we loved your freeze pose. Did I have a good laggy pose? poses? Are not great. Hold on. That's better. Your your pose was. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just. See the weather. 
I mean, it's not. Ooh. I'm sure that's why my internet went out. Oh, he's definitely frozen now. Luckily, T-Mobile always has really <laughs> good sounds. What? <laughs> oh, thanks, guys, for joining. And uh, I think I guess we'll see you next time. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Did you want to say? Are you good? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, bye. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs>